but he had his fence, his yard fenced in around his house so his chickens couldn't get in the yard. And he had a bunch of chickens just run over. And he'd turn his chickens out in the daytime and they just run all over the farm. He had five acre prune orchard. They just run all over the farm. He'd close them up at night, open them in the daytime. And fenced his yard so they wouldn't be in his yard. <coughs> Have to put up with the chicken droppings, which was smart. He had a big red rooster about that big. Big sucker. And he'd chase you. And that just tickled him to death to see somebody get chased by his rooster. And he would. Boy, he'd get a hold of you, he'd beat you. And Uncle Thurman, he thought that was the funniest thing that ever happened. Some woman would do that. Especially a woman with a dress on. Oh, he loved that. For the, <laughs> for the sights he got to see. Anyway, their outhouse was outside of the yard, out by the garage. And so, if you had to go to the outhouse, you had to go outside the yard. And in the afternoon when the chickens were out, why Aunt Josie would always, if she knew you was going out there, she'd always give you the broom. Take the broom along and fight the rooster out. Uh, I was in about the third grade and I was learning to play ball. And I had to go. So Aunt Josie gave me the broom and told me that watch the rooster. Okay. And this broom was about nine tenths wore out. This kind of the head that she used on. <laughs> she just used it on the back porch. She didn't take it in the house. And here's Dean with his broom. Here comes his rooster. Wings back. You know, well, Dean, he's learning how to hit the ball. So he just stands up straight, picks up that broom, and he waits for that rooster to get there. And he knocked a home run on his head. I mean, <laughs> he hit him first class. Aunt Josie saw it. I mean, that rooster went, ah, rolled over my neck. <laughs> I mean, he was dead. Dead, dead. Aunt Josie was in the highest of her glory. The rooster was gone. She got chased off. Oh, he was, ah, pink. I killed his rooster and boy, you're going to pay for my rooster. Well, Dad jumped onto it. And because of what I did. And Aunt Josie told him, she, you leave that boy alone. I saw the whole thing happen, and it was not Dean's fault. The rooster attacked him, and he only protected himself. You leave him alone, Lloyd. Don't you dare touch that boy. <laughs> Quick. And Uncle Dale, he's, Uncle Ernie, he, he had a vocabulary that nobody else used but him. And he was telling Dad about his valuable rooster and you had not had a kid kill my rooster. And, uh, yeah. Aunt Josie, she's sticking up for me. And Dad would like to defend me, but he thinks he shouldn't. And Uncle Ernie, he was gone. Now his rooster's gone. So his, his uh, entertainment, part of his life's entertainment shot down because he can't see, can't see the girls' legs anymore above a knee. And, uh, <laughs> oh, you think that's funny? No, you no. think that's funny? Oh, no. That was very serious. Very serious. You never showed your knees to nobody. No, no. No, no. You was a bad girl if you did that. Bad. Bad, bad girl. Yeah. Of course, Uncle Ernie would argue the fact with you that it was, that you was not a bad girl. That you was a nice girl.
Did the roost did the rooster get put in the soup pot? He did. He did. He got put in the pot. And Aunt Josie had a big grin on her face. <laughs>